Now, two years after an economic meltdown, almost double the rate of poverty in Sri Lanka, the island nation is holding an election to choose a new president. The September 21st vote is shaping up to be a referendum on the painful austerity measures. Sri Lanka's spending cuts were conditions imposed as part of the $3 billion bailout from the International Monetary Fund. The IMF bailout conditions have resulted in a lot of pain for Sri Lankan households already struggling to meet the bare minimum expenses. So now the election looks to be a close call. The incumbent Ranil Vikramasinghe faces off against candidates seeking to initiate new negotiations with the IMF to ease the austerity burden. The region's two main powers, that is India and China, will also watch the election outcome closely. In 2023, Vikramasinghe's government agreed to the much-needed IMF bailout, with the funds to be dispersed in tranches over 48 months. The, proposals, the proposal included tax increases, utility rate hikes and the sale of certain state-owned businesses. Thanks to these policies, inflation has dropped into the single digits so far this year. The economy is expanding at a faster than expected rate and debt restructuring is making headway. Additional cash from the IMF and other lenders has also become available. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.